Was Ski Mask Sin City mixtape worth the wait, and has he fallen off like everyone claims he has? Let's talk about it. The last time we really heard from Ski Mask was in 2018 with his debut album, Stokely. And without a doubt, Ski Mask has been through so much over these past few years. Losing Peep, X, and Juice World with people putting immense pressure on him to continue their legacies while he builds his own. Ski Mask has always been an oddity to me. I own his album on vinyl, I've seen him twice in concert, but I was anticipating this mixtape in the way that not too many people were. You see, everyone wanted Ski Mask to drop because Stokely came out just two and a half years ago on November 30th 2018. But I wanted Ski to drop a project with no features because I needed to decide if I actually liked him for the artist that he is or if I just liked him for his peers. Because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I went to his concerts to hear the songs he did with these two. Listen, I've always known Ski was crazy talented. He has some of the best flows in hip hop, period. But the thing is, his crazy cartoon bars about fairly odd parents, yeah, those just don't connect with me. I'm I'm sorry. What do you what do you want me to do? I I I can't. I I just can't. Fairly odd fairy dust, all my Yeah. I needed him to experiment and do new things and grow into the artist that he can be. Ski says that he's top five this generation, bro, I need to hear it. And oh, I can happily say, that's what we got. Listen, I've heard people complaining about the length of this project, but the thing is, the thing is, this man lost three of his best friends within the last three years. And also, I just, I just gotta say, you know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, this isn't an album. It's a mixtape. Featuring nine songs across 17 minutes and 32 seconds, I can barely listen to this thing. Toxic, yes, I'm human, you ever just have one of those cold nights where you're reaching for that blanket? Yeah, yeah. Recently, I've just been, you know, reaching for my abnormally big headphones to put on because uh, this album's so fire that it warms me up. Are you a fan of Ski Mask, The Slump God? Hey. Ski not only showcases his raw talent of dropping crazy intricate bars on songs like Dr. Seuss, Admit It, and Fire Hazard, but woo, does this thing remind me of 2017? Holy f This thing is loud. It's in your face. Ugh. The beats on this thing are insane, and Ski murders these things with some of his coldest bars yet. What you think he's gonna do? No, he just switches up on you and does the opposite. But it's not a bad thing. It's like I'm in prison, but the bars are icicles and I'm just in an igloo. That, that was, was funnier in my head. But in terms of a complete vision, Ski is in the prime of his career, and in my opinion, the furthest thing from falling off. And if you think he has, or he did because of this tape, you're just not listening to it. I do think that this was kind of a make it or break a situation for Ski Mask, in terms of people listening for just him. Oh, and if for whatever reason you're upset that this project doesn't have any features, especially from these two, I think you need to stop and actually ask yourself if you're a fan of Ski in the first place, just like I did. FACTS! FACTS! FACTS!